Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday. It is, a, no, it's not Sunday, it's Monday. Good morning, guys. Well, let's start that again. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. It's a holiday here. I know it's a holiday in the States, too. Typically, school starts on Tuesday, but this year, it's starting on Wednesday, so we still have one more holiday to go. But welcome to today's video. Uh, Sylvia and I are down in the goat barn getting some work done. Oh, well, this is where he sleeps. So you yeah. Can that now. Yeah. Huh. So. You didn't put the chicken in there. I know. Maybe we should put some more straw in there for him. Maybe we should put some more straw in there for him, but that's where he slept. He's been sleeping the last couple of nights. Our cat is funny. He's like so affectionate and so loving, but if you stop, he bites you to try and get you to keep doing it. But look at how much thinner he is, you guys. He's like a regular size in the summer. It's because it's not winter yet. I know, he's just a regular cat. He's not chubby. In winter, he doesn't go out. He hates the cold and the snow. Yeah, in the winter, he's like me. He hibernates. You hibernate all the time. No, I don't. I'm busy all summer. You sure about that? I'm sure about that. This morning I woke up, I made pasta sauce with all of our tomatoes, and then I made applesauce with all of our animal with all of our animals. I made applesauce with all of our apples. Um, I've been busy. I did all the dishes. I cleaned up all my mess. I did some stuff with the dogs, gave them their regular flea treatment. I've been on a roll, you guys. I should have brought you an apple. He's starting to really love me, you guys. He's still a little bit skittish. Oh, it's him that smells. He has a tiny bit of a smell now. It's nothing like the goat smell when they're in rut. It's just a tiny bit of a musky smell, like an oily smell. It doesn't smell super strong. It only smells when he comes really close to me. But he is loving his pool. <laughs> I swear it's his favorite place. What a good boy. That's probably why he doesn't smell very bad, because he swims all the time. <laughs> Can you smell him? Maybe I'm just sensitive to it, but yeah, he definitely stinks. <laughs> he has a smell now. Last night I was struggling with the puppy. Not really struggling, but she was being a brat. And I was like, oh, I remember this stage with Ellie. And then I was thinking like, I remember being so stressed out that Ellie, ow, <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. I remember being so stressed out. I remember being so stressed out with Ellie and thinking like, when is this ever this stage ever going to end? And I remember complaining about it. And I remember some people like saying like, you have to train her not to do that. And there's, and I was thinking last night how there's so much of having kids and having pets that are babies. And that's just developmental behavior, just normal developmental behavior. And when I was younger, I would hear a lot of mothers be like, say to other people, stuff like I wouldn't let my kid act like that or I wouldn't let my dog do that or whatever and the truth is, is that there's so much that's just developmental Ellie is completely different she's grown out of all the things that used to drive me crazy and I know Kirby will do that too he still likes to be held I know he likes to be held all the time by Raise everyone <laughs> We raised them good. Oh, if you're out there and you're struggling with something with your kids or one of your animals and they're young still, just remember that all they need is consistent rules, love and support, and they will grow out of whatever bad behavior they're in. Except for goats. Goats, they're never changing. <laughs> they're always going to be brats. Hey, Winston's not a brat. Winston is definitely a brat. He's probably the brattiest of the brats. Actually, the worst goat that we have. Ow! Dude, it hurts my hair when you do that. It's Blossom. Blossom. <laughs> his mom. Yeah, his mom is the worst. His mom is the worst, and he's the second worst. So, one of the things that we do that Sam did to clean up for fall was clean out our automatic waters. They're hard to clean because... Ouch, somebody built this wall on top of it. So to clean it and to stop the water from coming out, we have to lift this thing off. So the only way we can clean these is to vacuum the water out with like a shot vac and then clean it that way. So that's done, check. He literally goes in that pool a hundred times a day. Doesn't even lay down, just stands in there. Doesn't roll in the mud. He's so funny. I feel like he's having a cold shower. It's like for him, it's like a cold shower. I have an idea. What? We could put a pond on both sides over there. Like a pond.
farm. On that so side? It goes on both sides, but they can't get through. I'd like to see a little it. Water fountain. I'd love that. And that way you don't have to fill it all the time. It just cleans it. Anyway, I brought him an apple as a reward for letting me trim up his toes. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, right here. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do your tea your feet. All animals have so many other needs than just food and water and love. They often have horns that need taken care of, or they have feet that need taken care of, or they have hair that needs brushing. But a lot of our animals have feet that need trimmed. And our little boy pig also has tusks that are coming in. <laughs> Did you eat your apple? Did you eat it all? And that's the next thing that I want to master. No, it's right there. Look, right here. There you go. We're just leaving and he finally laid down. I just love watching them in water. Well, hello babies. I missed you down there. I spent uh, like hours down there in the goat barn and you weren't even there. Hi Velcro goat. Hi. Oh, you are all so cute. So cute. So Sam opened a new field for the horses because we closed up these goat fields about a month ago and they are all green and fresh and happening. Come on! So he just opened up the field now. Uh oh, get out of the way goats. <laughs> oh no, the goats followed me. Run! <laughs> oh no. Go and get the grass. It's a grass day. Oh, hi. Hi ladybug. No, look in there. Look at all that. Look, you can see it rippling. Go! Uh-oh. Go see the grass! Uh-oh. Lady's gonna chase goat. Lady can't figure out how to get through there. Oh, storm is snuffling. There they go. Lots of grass in there for you. So these are our brave horses. <laughs> oh, they're going right to the goat area because that's the thickest. It's nice grass. Come on, Pen! <laughs> come on, come on, honey! Clearly, they found some grass up there. I love the goats. I feel like sad we don't have more. But oh, you guys, I wanted to show you. Look at the difference in our goats. Look at this girl, especially. Look at her. She is looking so good. She's looking so good. You see? She's like almost in perfect condition. Perfect for breeding. They're all in really good condition, actually. Oh, hey baby. Hey baby. <laughs> See, Sam doesn't even ever spend any time with that with the goats, and that baby will go to anybody. She's a honey baby. She's just like Lady, just like Honey. We have a handful of friendly goats and a handful of friendly horses. Hi, huh, Cricket. I love her. I love her pink collar. They literally went into there where all the food is and peed. Like they were all saving up their pee. They were all like, oh, let's pee where we're going to eat for the next few weeks. So this field and then this field will probably last these horses three days. But it's worth it that we're able to have it and we can close off some of the other fields. We actually learned a lot being on this farm because before we just had two horse fields really and then we had a hay field. Honey finally got the memo. <laughs> If she don't run into the fence. Come on, over here. Come on. Well, at least we know that they're all drinking a lot because... Come on, there's lots of grass in here for you. Fresh grass. Come on. Like, Should I do it? Should I do it, Laura? She's like, I'll just stand in the doorway here. Wow, she is looking so cute. Willow is getting slowly closer. Only Penny's up there not paying any attention. And the goats are like, why are you letting them eat all of our food? Never see the goats eat the grass ever. But now that the horses are here, they're eating the grass. See, they're all eating the grass. Shoot, I missed it. I missed Willow running.
<laughs> Go eat! She's like, I've been eating all day. I don't need any more food. Penny is slowly making her way. <laughs> She's my girl. Nobody will tell her what to do. Come on, Pen. Oh yeah, she's gonna go in and go to the other, other side. Yep, <laughs> opposite direction. Oh, uh, says her friends over there. There's Posey! Posey! They're all here! I don't know where she came from. I swear, it's like a lazy holiday today. Everybody's just chilling. Penny's pinning her ears at Willow. It's just a relaxing day on the farm. Sometimes you just need to take time and sit with your animals. Those minutes that you sit with the animals really makes all the difference. Look at the goats over there. Come here, Pose! Posey! She, she can't tell where I am. She's Posey! I'm over here! She, Posey! Come on! Come on, baby! Posey! She can't hear very good. Yeah, there you are. I missed you! I'm really excited to put the pigs together. I feel like they both really need a friend. Look at you digging around. Oh, guys, my baby. You're my baby. We are gonna go and check on the baby chicks and see how last night went with them in their new home. I swear, even Sam is enjoying the chickens being free and running around. Today he sent me a whole bunch of videos and pictures of the guineas on the porch when he was barbecuing. But the weather has been glorious today. It's like fall, like cold. I hope everybody's okay. Hello, babies. Those are my two roosters. Oh, I see her. Oh, she has her eggs in the nest. So yeah, that's good. Know. That's where she was laying, over there. She's made a mess. I brought out fresh water for them. I had the water in this little thing. Listen, you're making a mess. Leave it how she has it. All right, but don't you want to like be able to play with the chickens? Let's see if these are warm. Oh my goodness. I wish we could bring the other chicks out and put them with her and I wish she would mom be the mom of them. You could try. No, she'll kill them for sure. So cute. Love them. Oh my goodness. They're my favorite chicks. They are adorable, absolutely adorable. I don't know what she's doing. I do not know what she's doing to this, to this hut. She's I don't teaching know. them to dig for bugs. Oh, that's what she's doing. She's teaching them to look to um, root around. <laughs> well, no, thank you. So, so cute. Like, let me go. Look, she's just a mama hen. Don't touch my babies. Yeah, we brought you fresh water. This one looks for sure like a girl. We think all of our chicks this time are girls. Our little army of ducks. Okay, so this is our winter plan for the, for the poultry. So this is our brooder and all of our babies are gonna go up here. This is gonna be our duck area. That's going to be our rooster area. Rooster? No. <laughs> That's going to be our turkey area because it's not good to house turkeys with other animals. And then that's going to be our chicken area. The only thing that we don't really have set is where the mama's going to go. So you can't put babies with a mama that has babies because she'll attack them all. So either she's going to have to leave her babies at some point and all the babies are going to have to go in there and she's going to have to go back to the goat barn or she's going to have to go in with the chickens because it's the only way it's going to work out. But for now, we have lots of time that the babies can stay in the house with us. And she can raise up her babies. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just
Just a 